Kia ora everyone. In this video I'm going to give you an introduction to Digo. Now Digo is a bookmarking software which really easily allows you to keep track of websites of interest while you're studying. Now you're probably aware that Internet Explorer, Google Chrome and other internet browsers have a bookmarking facility that allow you to bookmark websites to come back to later. The difficulty with these is that you can quite easily end up with hundreds of bookmarks and it can be quite difficult to find the websites that you want to go back to within these lists. Now Digo makes this really easy by allowing you to add tags um, or information tags to the websites when you save them. So you can then search through your lists quite simply and find the website again. So to start with um, you're going to need to sign up so up on the top right here is a sign up link. Now I'm not going to go through this process it's pretty straightforward um, and if you do have any trouble you can go onto YouTube and search for Digo Setup and you'll find some videos there to help you. But basically once you've set up an account you then download what's called a Digo Let which is up here on the right which will then show in your toolbar um, so that you can easily bookmark websites as you go. Okay, we're going to go into a new tab here. So I've gone onto Google and I've searched for fermented foods. So if I then go into a website, I can show you how to use Digo to bookmark that website. So let's say that I go on here and I find a really excellent article on how to make fermented foods and their benefits. So to bookmark it, I'm going to come up to Digo. I'm going to click on the button and it's going to open up a little um, menu box and on the top right is save. So when I click save um, it opens up another form to fill out. So at the top here it's already put in a link to the site and a name. Now you can edit that name if you'd like to. Um, I'm just going to leave it as it is. You can then add some notes, uh, so if there's particular reasons why you want to come back to this, particular thoughts you have about this website, you can add them in. And then most importantly, there is tags. So in this area you're going to put in some words that will help you to identify this website. So I'm going to put in fermented foods and then click save. Okay. Now, you'll see that a little menu's opened up here. Before we have a look at that, we're going to go into my library. So I'm going to click on the DigoLet again and click on my library. And that'll just take a couple of seconds to open up. And when it does, it's going to show all of the sites that I have used Digo to bookmark in the past. Okay. Here we go. So in the middle here is a full list of all of the websites that I have bookmarked and you'll see that there's over 15 pages of these. So this is why it can get quite confusing to find your bookmark websites in the past without a service like Digo. So at the top here is the site that I just um, bookmarked. Now say I come into here later on and I want to find all the articles on fermented foods. I'm going to type in fermented, click search, and it's going to bring them up. So in this case there's just two, and I can then click on that link to go to the website and to do some further reading there. Okay, now we're just going to pop back to my library and clear this, go back to the main list. So you'll see here on the left is a list of all the tags that I've used. Um, it goes beyond six, so these are the most frequently used ones. So if I was to come in and there was something I want to look at that I, I look at frequently, um, say forest or forest garden, I can click on here and similar to the search box, it's going to bring up all of the websites I've tagged forest in around forest farming, forest gardening, food forests, etc. Okay. So that's the basics of, of finding websites in your library. I'm now going to go back into this page that we looked at. And we're going to have a look at this little menu here. So when I saved this site, this little menu opened up. The first thing we've got on here is a highlighter. 
So in Digo, if you have text that you want to highlight, you can do that. So if I scroll down into the article, and say I found the second paragraph really interesting, and I want to highlight it for later, I'm just going to click, drag, and let go, and it's highlighted. Now when I come back to this website via my Digo library, this will always show us highlighted in the future. Similarly, if I click on the sticky note, over on the left here, we get a sticky note. So I can put notes in here and click save. And every time I come back to this website, there will be a sticky note there with my notes that I've written. Now the third symbol is a bookmark, so I can come in and I can edit this bookmark. So say I wanted to add another tag in here, um, I can do so. And I can also come into annotations. So if I've put um, notes, uh, sticky notes, or I've highlighted things, they show in here. So this is a quick way to find all of those annotations for this website. So that's the basics of using Digo. There are other functions um, which I won't get into, but before I sign off, there's just one key one that I will. If I want to save images, if I right click on this image, you'll see that I've got this option for web, uh, Digo Web Collector, and I can save the image. So I want to save the image as a standalone item. I can also save it so it's associated with the tag for this whole page that we've already set up. Okay, and so you again, like tagging a page, you're going to collect, click on um, recent ones or, or write in tags, so fermented foods, and click save. So that's just uploading. Now if I come into my library, and I click refresh, you can see that I now have an image here. And because it's tagged, I can search, just like I search for websites, I can search for images. So if you want to save these for use in um, brochures or assessments in the future, you can do so. Okay, that's the outline of Digo. Um, I think it's a really great service. A basic account is free. Um, you can really easily keep track of all your research, and I'd encourage you to do so. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call or jump on YouTube and have a look at the videos there. Cheers.